Uh, this is Nako from Shonen Knife. Uh, I'd like to talk to Dustin. This is Dustin. How are you doing? Ah, uh, hi. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> oh, everything sounds good. Uh-huh. Uh, in my uh, okay. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm here with my co-host Tun. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, good. I'm very good. Thank you. <laughs> good. You sound good. Well, we want to say it's uh, it's an honor to have you on the show today. Yeah, thank you, too. I'm honored, too. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, first we want to start off and ask how Shonen Knife was formed. Mm-hmm. Um, it was uh, 30 years ago, um, late 81. Uh, I was boring for my daily daily life, so I wanted to start something interesting and um I asked my friend uh, Michi and my younger sister uh, to go to form a band. <laughs> when you guys were playing in those early days, uh, what was that like? Were there a lot of other all-girl bands in Japan at that time? Um, I think not so many uh, like today, but uh, there are some all-female bands. And uh, I think the the underground rock scene uh, in Osaka was uh attractive at that time okay so when you guys were playing those uh, early shows i mean were you playing like uh, just small clubs or were there a lot of places to play at that time uh basically uh small clubs like uh 100 uh, or 200 capacity and the biggest was uh open air concert but uh not so many people there <laughs> <laughs> So then, how did it? How did you guys kind of end up branching out to uh, the United States? And and you know, were you surprised when when you you found you became popular there and everything? Yeah, of course. Uh, I was very surprised. Um, in uh, early uh, early eighties, uh, we've released our records from a Japanese small, uh, tiny record label called Zero Records. And then uh, an American guy from uh, Olympia, Washington, uh, he, he's a uh, label owner of K Records. Uh, he came to Japan and uh, he bought uh, our album. And then uh, he made a contact to us and to he wanted to release our album. Uh, his name was Calvin Johnson. Uh, he is a guy from Beat Happening, a rock band. And then uh, many American people uh, knew that rumor about Shonen Knife, and then uh, we we released uh, many albums from American label. Yeah, around that time you had, uh, you know, bands like Nirvana and uh, Sonic Youth were talking about you guys a lot, and uh, you actually went on tour with Nirvana, is that right? Oh yes, uh, we toured with Nirvana first time was 1991 uh, November, and uh, it was just uh, Nirvana was happening, breaking, and uh, we toured with Nirvana a three weeks tour and uh, all over the United Kingdom. I think you touched on it a bit, but. Uh... Did you ever think that uh, outside of Japan you would be so popular? You know, you're playing in the U.K. and the U.S. and all these other countries. Did, did you ever imagine that would happen? No, no. Um, I couldn't imagine. Uh, but uh, I basically like uh, American or uh, British rock music. I don't listen so much Japanese music, so um, um, I, I was very happy about that. Do you find it's um, it's quite a bit of a different audience uh, everywhere else in the world, or particularly U.S. or wherever, in comparison to Japan for for you guys' music? Um, I think uh, it depends on cities or towns. Uh, I think uh, people around the southern area, like uh, Osaka or, uh, for example, uh, Texas, <laughs> in in America, people are very energetic. During the show, uh, many people are dancing and screaming. And uh, cities, uh, a little, uh, northern cities like uh, New York or Tokyo, people are more polite. They are smiling during our show. So I think it depends on cities. 
What do you think uh, of playing in Minnesota? We saw you here a couple of years ago. Uh, is that yeah. what, what do you what do you think about playing in Minnesota? Yeah, um, I like Minnesota a lot. Um, we've uh, toured, uh, played uh, in Minnesota with Nirvana uh, 1993, and also uh, we played our own shows in Minnesota, and uh, people in Minnesota are uh, always very uh, kind to us, and uh, we could have a very good time. Awesome. I loved it. I'm wearing your T-shirt right now. Wow, great. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, when you guys are releasing your albums, so sometimes you release two of the same one, you know, one in Japanese and one in English. How, how do you guys decide which... Uh, which albums to release that way? Um, actually, uh, if I, for, for me, uh, English lyrics, English is a language of rock and roll music because uh, for me, uh, my favorite music is uh, uh, from America or Britain. And uh, I like to write lyrics in English. But for Japanese fans, uh, I want Japanese fans to understand our lyrics, so uh, I write lyrics in Japanese. But uh, when I have uh, no time, <laughs> I, I cannot uh, write Japanese lyrics. So basically, um, for recent albums, I write uh, English lyrics only. Okay. Well, can you describe a bit of your uh, writing process, or how do you come up with your ideas for for Shona Knife songs? Mm -hmm. um, I uh, when I find something interesting uh, during my daily life, I write down the keywords uh, on in my notebook, and when I make uh, make so make a song, uh, I expand the keyword and I put my imagination into it, and then uh, I write lyrics, and I put melody line on it. You're just uh, writing about stuff that you enjoy then, essentially. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, enjoy or sometimes just uh, impressed. <laughs> but uh, bas basically, mainly, uh, I like uh, delicious food, so uh, <laughs> food songs are... Uh, so many food songs there. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's great. Well, as you said, you've been playing in Shona Knife for 30 years or more. Uh, you had a lot of people in the band over the years, but uh, the people that you have in the group now, do you think that's going to be the lineup from now on? Yeah. Um, I think the lineup uh, now is the most powerful. So uh, I'm... I feel very comfortable with uh, the lineup now. Yeah, I think it's very powerful. You guys rocked when I saw you. Yeah, and I have yeah. to. I have to say that I have an extreme crush on your drummer, <laughs> on Emmy. I have a major crush. So if you mm. could, if you could just pass that on to her, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and 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 the uh, uh, our bassist Ritzko and our drummer Emmy. Uh, they used to uh, Shonen Knife fans, and uh, they understand Shonen Knife very much. <clears throat> so uh, it's very easy to make music with them. That's awesome. So do you think you'll be um, around for maybe another 10, 20, 30 years, or what do you think? Yeah, uh, if I'm alive, <laughs> I, <laughs> I wish, I, I, I hope I, I can do as much, uh, as long as I can. <laughs> Well, you guys just uh, had the new album Pop Tune that just came out. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. um, I I tried to make uh, pop songs for this Pop Tune album, uh, like the name, um, because uh, in these uh, two albums, so our our uh, last album, original album, was uh, called Free Time. Uh, the album was a little bit uh, Punkish, and also our recent album uh, Osaka Ramones is a cover album uh, of the Ramones songs. So uh, I wanted to 
make uh, more pop uh, music. And uh, for me, pop music is um, very enjoyable and uh, people can get uh, cheerful, powerful uh, with that album, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, we uh, got a copy of it and uh, it's, it's, it's great as always. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, you're going on tour this summer and uh, playing in Minneapolis. Yes. <laughs> so that'll be good. Hopefully, yeah. uh, we we plan on being there. And um, like we said, we saw you last time you were here, and it was one of the best shows we've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm very looking forward to go to Minneapolis. And um. Yeah. I if I I have a chance, uh, I want to go to Minneapolis. Uh, Every time, every year. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, d- is there anything else you're working on, you think, after the tour or any other projects? Um, after American, North, North American tour, uh, we'll go to uh, UK and European tour in October. So uh, we are keeping rocking. <laughs> We keep rocking. <laughs> very, go. very busy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> One last thing, if you don't mind, could you say, you know, like, I love the five count or something like that in Japanese, maybe? Ah, in Japanese. Okay. Shonen Knife no Naoko desu. Tadaima okiki no hoso wa five count desu. Five count psycho. Awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for letting us talk with you. It's It's been an honor. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you very much. And we're looking forward to seeing you in Minneapolis. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.